Hey everybody, welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. I'm Kevin and today we're going to talk about a beautiful plant called the Nandina. Domestica! So Domestica Nandina is a variety that's more upright and it can be a screening plant but it's you can kind of, if you go down below Blakey Poo, you'll see you can kind of still see me through here so it's not such a great screening plant but it will give you some visual blocking from those nasty neighbors no I'm just kidding um, we love our neighbors anyway so great plant and just look at the beautiful colors orange plum red green <clears throat> you get the whole kaleidoscope going on with colors uh, another great thing this thing has is berries so berries, um, if we go to right here, Blake, uh, look at those festive berries that are pretty abundant with this variety. And if you go lower, Blake, here, look at that cool yellow foliage. You know, this is the same plant, it's not the same plant, but another plant side by side. Look at the different looks you get from the same plant even side by side. You know, if you get more and more sun on these, they will take full sun. The more reddish and burned to the foliage you get in the fall, so it's very cool. As it gets colder, you'll get more of a reddish burned look to the foliage, almost like burning bush. Very adaptable plant, very adaptable, so takes all kinds of uh, watering conditions that you may have in the landscape. If it's dry soil, once established obviously. If it's moist, Nandina domestica can handle it. If it's part sun, if it's a little shady, if it's sun, sunny, it can handle it. Nandina domestica is the Swiss army knife. Nandinas in general are the Swiss army knives of our landscape plant offerings. So hard to beat Nandina and this happens to be domestica. God that sounded weird. It's just really hard to beat this plant. Nandina domestica. It's a propagating plant so it's going to self propagate and grow larger you know it's going to shoot other volunteers out as it grows it is the bamboo family after all so it does propagate by itself and it can get squirrely on you so just beware of that it's nothing vigorous like bamboo is um, hardly at all but um, you can prune these typically people just let the dandina domestica variety go because of that nice upright shape but if you do want to prune these just use hand pruners and go in and out to keep it uneven because it has a few canes so you don't want to just level head it like frankenstein's ha head is you want to make it a little more natural with some hand pruning techniques and uh, go up and down as you cut to keep it as uh, attractive as possible. So the Nandina is really terrific and it seems like you know you guys think the Nandina is awesome too. If you look here from a past video they've commented on the Nandina. Talk about a terrific plant to add to your landscape. These look great in bunches, mass planting, they look great on their own like a solo plant use them to screen with use them to fill in your landscape designs if you have a larger area that you're going to want to fill that void with a pop of color Nandina is perfect a little bit of shade it's going to not grow as thick but it'll take some shade really likes part sun to full sun Thank you for watching everyone. Give us a green thumbs up. We always appreciate those. And um, until next time, we'll see you in the next video.